we are not sleeping. Yes, my brother Kwabina. Those who are sleeping should <laughs> stop sleeping. Hold on with your sleep. <laughs> we're, we're back in East Lagoon, we're back in yeah, the neighborhood. We are, we are in. We just <laughs> Lagoon University. This was built in. Uh, they started operating in 1948. But it was started somewhere at a place called Achimota because they moved to this place in 1948. There is a research, okay, research center at the other lake. And then uh, they have uh, four football parks here. Uh, most of the students doesn't live on campus because there's no accommodation for them. So some of them have rented a private home and they are there. Uh, there is a, a, a malaria research center. It's on this side. It's called Noguchi Memorial Institute. Noguchi, we said Noguchi is an, a Japanese who came to Ghana to research and to know more about malaria and find uh, what you call a cure for malaria. But it's unfortunate that it was malaria also who killed him. Oh, that's a beautiful thing. Yeah. Yes, that's beautiful. It was a small hey. mosquito that killed him. <laughs> that so is, that is space center. right there. That's space. Yeah, that's a research center. <laughs> so he but he didn't really find a cure yet. You know... Uh, that's uh, why you gotta do the invaders, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 it's like those who cook. Any cook, a good cook, always is hungry. Every good cook always is hungry because he doesn't have time to sit down and eat. Uh huh. And that's what happened to him. <laughs> so uh, it was bitten by a lot of mosquitoes, and uh, mosquitoes said bye bye to him. <laughs> but the research center is there. Um, they are the one that research into uh, a whole lot of diseases. A whole lot of diseases. When the uh, Ebola came, that is where the research found out, yes, this is Ebola or not. And then COVID-19, if you have a COVID-19, when it started, then you have to take some of your blood to go and test. And that's where it's been done. Now, this is the campus, and these are some of the halls. Some of the halls, hall some of them are new ones, some of them are old ones. Every school has a tradition, every university has a tradition. Uh, in Ghana, I would say, look at the roofing. But in America, we say, look at the shingles. The type of uh, uh, shingles that they use is different from any other university. One of the things that when you come to this university that you can find very common is mahogany tree. And it's planted as a, a windbreaker and then it gives a lot of energy. It's all over. on your right. On the right is the science department, soil science, and anything about science that is on your right. We'll go around the roundabout, and then we'll go straight. We are go straight. African Studies is right now on our right. That is African Studies. We only study about African religion, African life, social life, and all those things. That is where we have it. Yeah, classes are in English. Yes, please. All classes are in English. And then, uh, Chemistry, 
Those who do the fight to fight to fight to, we in our time we call them fighters. <laughs> so this is the chemistry department. The part, those who want to be pathologists and the fighters and whatnot. That is, um, we can go straight and turn and then we'll come this way again. You can go straight. Oh, of yeah, course, Street and can show um, some of the accommodation. Yeah. Okay, no problem. You, he has turned here, so let's go. Your son father down there, and that is where they are. Some of the homes, private homes. Talking about private, I'm talking about um, private entities and corporate bodies that build hostels for students. Yeah. And some of the roads have been named after uh, some of the British who taught here first, and some of them have been named after Kenyans, especially the, le uh, the lectures, the old lectures. And that is a bam hall. Some years ago, the clock was working, and every 12 noon, they will sound the alarm for a minute. And this originated from Britain. Every 12 o'clock in London, they will sound an alarm for everybody to know it's 12 noon. But they cease doing that in Ghana. Yeah, great, because this is not London. Uh, department on the biology is on the right. <laughs> biology is on our right, Department of Biology. And then W.E. Du the Bois Road, that's on the left. And uh, this whole building is for business uh, uh, education, business studies. That's on your left now. Is the whole place is for business studies. And then we have nursing. Also, uh, uh, those who want to become a nurse. And then coming up on your right, go street. Uh, we have a Volta Hall. Okay, we see Volta Hall from the other side. Oh, why are they? Hmm. How much is the tuition? What? The tuition. How much does it cost? Ah, oh, it depends on the course that you are you are reading. Yeah. All the fees are not the same. Wow. Science are higher than any other uh, course. Wow. Yeah. There's a chance here yeah, that you can climb. If they haven't blocked the road, then we'll see the vice chancellor's residence. Yep. Some of the uh, uh, top people over here, or the seniors, some of them, they are residents. Beautiful Sunday. Family. Department of uh, Parks and Gardens is down there. To the university. Botany. The Department of Botany. And then we have the Great Hall. This is a tick on your right. It's a tick. The one that you saw, the huge one, these are meant for electric poles. So this one will be like um, uh, between three to four years. It's a big university, big place. Oh yeah, it's a huge, huge. This was built by the Tapanian Command. It was started by the British. But when he came, he also came and continued. can see the northern part of our crowd. That's only right. Uh, the northern part of our crowd, you can see it's on your right, Pabinya and its environs. 
So that is a great hall. Coming up on your right is the residence for the vice chancellor. They normally do allow any other guy to pass here. So this is vice chancellor's residence. Oh, oh, it is written there. And then uh, internal auditors and other people, um, they are all around this area. Now, when you are here, the name Legon is a gun where that is a tribe in Accra. And when the university was set up, when you are coming to this side, they said, I'm going to the Learning Hill. He said, this place is on top of it. It's a huge hill. From here, you can see down there, that is Accra. That's Accra down there. So we are on top of a hill. So they named this place the Learning Hill. The Learning Hill. Hence, the name in, Lang uh, in Gam means Nilego. Nilego. And it became Legon. 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 The Learning Hill. So, yeah, this is the Learning Hill. All these uh, those in this uh, uniform are security personnel. They are security men on campus. So that is administration on the left. Vice Chancellor's office is up here. And some of the provosts are also here. some I don't know whether she's a student or she's uh, you know taking a, a brisk walking and that's good exercising and those buildings that you see are for senior lecturers some of the senior lecturers no junior lecturers will have accommodation on campus even some of the senior lecturers have accommodation outside the campus. It's not available. Money sign down there. the Commonwealth Nation. So this is the Commonwealth Hall. It is one of the halls that people uh, has named as uh, Vandals. Vandals. When you talk about Vandals in Ghana, then we are talking about people who are, have atrocities. People who normally don't understand anything. Um, when they said this, we'll do this, and that's what they want to do. They are Vandals. Even if you are timid, you come here, you meet some guys, and then your timidity runs away from you and you become a vandal. <laughs> now when you take right, we are, uh, uh, we are heading towards Department of History, where I took a course. Uh, yes, please, on the right. Uh -huh. That is on the right is Department of History. And then we have languages. Yeah. This is languages, the history is there, the other side. And a new building is coming up. New beautiful building. Wow. Mm, that's nice. That's great. And then we have a uh, 
philosophy is down there and then uh, other institutions they are all down there on our right and then oh we could have taken to the left can you take left okay go left and then let's go through one of the stadium we would have gone straight there are some of the halls have been named after people or and then uh, like a kwafu hall a kwafu means farmers they, uh, we believe that farmers are the backbone of the country's economy as a result of that uh, they should be uplifted over there so it has been named after them the kwafu hall farmers hall there yeah, you can go through your right and that's as a one of our stadium That's one of our stadium. We have the handball, we have the volleyball, we have the soccer, and then we have the hockey. Yes, you can go down there, and then you take to your left. So this is the dorm where they live. What? The palace. The students live here. Yeah. The halls. Okay. Yeah, those are the halls. Two people supposed to be in a room. But currently, about four to six people are in the room. You can take to the left. And then, uh, coming up on your left is a cafeteria. Cafeteria. This is a cafeteria. And a cafeteria, in the, uh, uh, some years ago, uh, the, the government feed the student free of charge. So you have to come and eat here, free of charge. It's a story building. Some people are down there, some people are up here, some people are here. But currently, food is being sold. Everything you have to buy. It has been uh, given to a private entity that is running the cafeteria. Corner for rights. So this is one of the stadium. And then, the, uh, this is Adishi Hall. This is Kwafu, then behind is Adishi Hall. Adishi means royals. Royals, so we have Volta Hall ahead, or behind us, sorry. Far behind us. Um, what we have straight we see the other one. We have a what we have found. How many are now? I'm doing what we have. Okay, go perfect. So that's the way out, right? Yeah, down Coco Street. And straight. And then you go perfect. And then family will be back into the neighborhood. But this is the University of Ghana. A whole lot of buildings and big place. Oh, oh, yeah, block it. Okay, okay, let's reverse. So you gotta upgrade your GPS map. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes there is a, it should have been a road, but uh, by the time it comes, it's blocked. So you have no choice. Okay, down. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, it is blocked. One of the most expensive things at the universities in Ghana is photocopy. A lecturer will come and the lecturer will tell you that if you want to pass my exams, buy my papers. And you have no choice, you have to buy. If you don't buy, all the questions are going to be set in this book. So you have to buy the book and keep on reading and researching and reading and researching. Yeah, uh, they make a lot of money from that, and sometimes you have to also uh, go and make a photocopy of it. So, if you you are a lecturer and uh, or private entity, and you have a photocopy machine on campus, you are making so much money. So, yeah, some of them can give you a whole book. Go and photocopy, and the book might be about. 100 pages, 200 pages, and you have to uh, photocopy all. So if you don't photocopy all, you are not going to get it. 
and if a photocopy is uh, 50 cities, even if it's 20 pesos, you're making so much money. And this basketball uh, is open to all, not only the students. Although, uh, if you're outside and want to come, uh, you have opportunity to play with some of them. So now we are going out. Now this is the road that leads to African Studies Department. We have female uh, halls and then we have male halls and we have mixed halls. Because of accommodation on campus, which is so scarce, the authorities came out with an idea that is called in, in, out, out, in. In, in, out, out, in. In, in, if you are first year, level 400, you are coming in, so there should be accommodation for you. Your second year, you are still studying, there should be accommodation for you. The third year and fourth year, you have to go out, going for accommodation somewhere. At that time, you know the campus, you know the areas, so you can go and look for private entity. And then your final year for you to uh, graduate, you have to come back to campus. So in, in, out, out, in. Um, it, it, was a, it was a big problem. Uh, they tried, they started, and it, it never went. Never went because if the person is in, he has to go and look for accommodation outside. Where is he going to get it? And the final year, you have to come back to campus. I would like to stay outside. Akela Pasoya Road. Akela Pasoya. Uh, was a very uh, uh, one of the vice chancellors and people like him he passed on some years ago including professor george bennett uh, has been named after this runabout george bennett circle george bennett was killed by his own uh, uh house boy yeah he stabbed him uh, According to the, even the case is still in court. Uh, Judge Bernard has been buried, but the case is still in court. The guy is in the case of police. Uh, some people think and I mean, he spoke to the guy, telling him, go and do this, we'll give you this, we'll do this, we'll give you this. And then whilst the man is sleeping, you know, because he has been with him for so many years, uh, he has access to his room. He has been cleaning his room, doing all those things. So, uh, the man traveled when he came back, he said he's tired, he went and sleep. And then uh, the guy gave him a nice start. Unfortunately, uh, yeah. and just like the stadium, uh, it's been in the same situation for almost oh, a Oh, the stadium has been in this for uh, 10 uh, uh, years. level for so many years. That's why when I come here and talking about this stadium, I feel so shy and sad. Um, this is a soccer stadium. It's supposed to be soccer and athletics. Uh, it was built over 30 years ago, and it has been like us. But rather than swimming, because the national uh, uh, swimming team has so much interest in, they have a international swimming, uh, 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 how do they call it? Swimming pool, international swimming, international one. Uh, that one, it has been renovated, it's so nice, beautiful, it's there. And they have, people have been using it for training. You know, the national swimming team has been training there. But apart from that, the soccer, everything is left to deteriorate.
That is it, unfortunately. Yeah. So it will never be finished. Is that what you're saying? Uh, well, we are waiting to see a president that will come who have uh, a sports at heart, and then I will be able to repair or rebuild or refurbish it. Everybody waiting for Not Nana, mm. Nana Ado to fix the problems of the country. Oh, he cannot <laughs> fix it. He has a small head. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have a big head. <laughs> <laughs> he's doing what he can. He's doing what he can. But uh, I think it is the uh, board of directors of the university who's supposed to know and then be able to work on this. Yeah. Yes. They're working. They go family. 